Hi, this is Aaron Booker from Varvid. I'm doing an install of Windows 8. So I'm gonna go ahead and start a timer so we can kind of keep track of what's going on. So there goes the timer. Laptop starts up. And uh, then the very first thing I need to do is, is hit the escape key so that I can choose what I'm gonna boot up from. So I'm gonna choose the number nine, which is um, there. And then I'm gonna choose this USB thumb drive, uh, flash drive. And so now, unfortunately, I've already picked 24 seconds. This is going to take a little while, so I'm going to just let it spin. But Windows 8 is a huge new operating system coming from Microsoft, and it's their um, solution for the battle that they're kind of losing right now, which is having a, a uniform solution with a, on the Apple side with the iPhone and the iPad and the operating system. Microsoft says they're going to take it even one step further where the phone, the tablet, and the computer are all going to be running the same operating system, not related operating systems. So it's going to be a very interesting time during this coming year. And again, this is an operating system that's really closely tied to um, the cloud, just as the iPhone and the iPad are. Um, Apple is starting to make hesitant steps towards that with the operating system. Um, with things like Twitter integration, Microsoft is going all in. Um, so the next thing that we got to do is hit the next button and of course install now. Um, and it's going to go ahead and start start set up. This is an SSD. This is a Micron uh, Crucial SSD actually. Um, and then you got to put the key in. And the activation key is uh, right here. So this is the consumer. Um, thing and this is one thing that threw me off. Took me a little while to find the activation key because it was right underneath it on the page. So I'll go ahead and type that in. And so then I want to do a custom install. Um, and so as you can see, I, I've used this before. So I'm going to go ahead and go to Drive Options Advanced and delete my partitions. Um, because I want to do a nice clean install. So I like to delete everything and do a clean from scratch install. Now I'll go ahead and make a new partition. Um, I'll apply it. This takes just a second. Now I've got my partition to install on. And so now this takes just a little bit longer, but it's a very fast install. Um, very similar to the Windows 7 install. Uh, the slow part, of course, is downloading the ISO, um, which is a couple of gigs. Uh, creating your thumb drive to boot from. You can also boot from a, a CD or DVD, or not a CD, but a DVD. Um, and there's a great tool, uh, link is uh, on the screen, which is at the Microsoft uh, Store, actually. And it's called the Windows 7 USB DVD Creation Tool. And um, so there's a link that you can download it from. So this will go on for a while. We're gonna keep the timer running, um, but of course we're gonna stop and start. You don't need to watch every single last second of this install, but the timer will not stop. So you get an accurate amount of time on how long it's taking. I think it's pretty interesting that you can do the entire install, including the operating system, the, wire, the wireless drivers, the network drivers, and all of it is, um, is baked into the install disk. So they've done a really good job. I, I also installed the de developer preview. And on the developer preview, I had to go get a network driver and install it separately after the install was done before I could do any Windows updates or anything. Um, I couldn't get connected to the internet until I went and did that. With Windows 8 um, Consumer Preview, AKA Public Beta, um, that is no, not necessary. Uh, all of the necessary drivers are there so you can actually get your computer up and running immediately, which is super cool. I'm really liking it. And what I'm looking forward to, um, I expect that major OEMs like HP or Lenovo or Dell will actually come up with drivers for Windows 8 fairly rapidly. And so if you've got a computer that's relatively new, this one is, is new, actually it's gonna to go to our Dallas office after we're done with it here in Bellingham, um, then you'll be able to get your drivers updated with the latest drivers and so on. Oh, and there it is, it just finished. So away we go, um, seven minutes and 40 seconds in, this funny little fish icon is, that seems to be the symbol of Windows 8. Um, it's kind of cool. So you can see what it's doing, it's updating registry settings, etc. And uh, eight minutes in, we're almost uh, ready to see a, an operating desktop. So um, here we go, chunk, 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 charging right along, but it goes pretty fast. And so I love this. I have to say I'm addicted to the SSD. Windows 8 is designed for SSDs. 
and uh, having a solid state disk instead of a traditional spinning hard drive makes things happen a lot faster. So here we are nine minutes in. Um, it's still, uh, we're not quite there. I was a little premature when I thought it was eight minutes we were gonna see a desktop, but still we're probably on track to be there around 10 minutes from start to end. Now, there was another 25, 30 minutes of downloading the ISO. I've got a nice fast connection here. So, you know, if, but the nice thing to know is you really don't need a lot of time. It's not a, you know, a huge process to do a Windows install like it used to particularly since so many of the drivers are baked into the ISO. Um, really slick, really like it a lot. So if you wanna go ahead and download your ISO while you're watching this video, just go to windows.microsoft.com and everything you need is right there. You'll actually come to this page, which is the Windows 8 Consumer Preview ISO Images page. Um, or if you want to install it uh, as, a, as a separate partition on an existing computer, everything that you need to do that with is built right into the website. I'm doing a fresh, clean install on this computer, but if you decide that you want to run it side by side with your regular operating system, um, that's a great option and uh, very easy to do. So PC name, I'll call this uh, Elite Book. And uh, so we'll go ahead and hit enter. Uh, here's our wireless network. And then this is really cool. You get to, you can choose your express settings or you can customize. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, hit customize so you can kind of see um, what sorts of options. So we'll go ahead and say to turn on sharing and connect to devices. We're gonna automatically install updates uh, and get drivers as well. Um, and we're gonna go ahead and, um, and tr protect the computer against known fraudulent websites, that sort of thing. Um, and so there's quite a few other uh, choices. I'm just gonna let everything be on. Uh, the one that they won't let you turn off if you are gonna use the beta, which is free, is you do have to report you know, in the background or report your using, using of the operating system. So I'm just gonna go ahead and let everything be on. Now it's time to sign in. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and sign in with an ID that um, already is a uh, Microsoft ID. So it's very similar to how Apple does it. Um, with iCloud, you basically you know, have, sort of have to have an iTunes ID now to do anything with Apple. It's very difficult not to. And so it's the same thing that Microsoft's heading towards it so that there's a, a standard way of keeping track of all of your data. So now we just go ahead and put in our password. It wants you to put in your phone number um, because then if you can't log in, you can, it'll actually text you a password, which I think is a really cool security idea. I hope Apple swipes that one. So right now it's preparing Windows. Oh, my picture just popped up. Um, we're 13, 14 minutes into the install and uh, we are clearly getting very, very close. We're completely in. So the install is done and you come up to the home screen. You can start to connect all of these tiles together. They all update in real time. Things like um, stock, you'll see photos as you start to connect all these things together rather than walking you through all that, which is really easy and um, you can do that yourself. What I'm gonna really do is just give you a brief overview. So the key thing to remember and to avoid frustration is get up here into this corner and then this bar shows up down here. And that's where things like your settings are. You can decide what settings you wanna see. Uh, if you wanna get into kind of deeper settings levels, this more PC settings right here at the bottom is gonna give you a lot of the things you're used to. And one of the most important ones is this one right here, Windows Update. Just like with any operating system, the first thing that you should do right out of the box is update it. Whether it's a Mac or a PC, get it updated. And so what's cool is, is here we are first day of release, and there's always already six updates that it's found. So I'll go ahead and have it install those updates. There's no reason not to. So those uh, six updates finished really rapidly. How, and then it says here that there'll be, some of these updates will finish as I, after I reboot. Um, but there is one more thing that I want to point out is when you check for updates here, um, it looks for them. It does want to go and check somewhere else. Um, and so right here, 
where it says no important updates and it says go to control panel. This is just like Windows 7 or XP where there's additional updates that you can get. And so what you wanna do is go to Microsoft Update and agree and click install. And then at that point, you're gonna get a more robust um, version. So I'll go ahead and close this. A more robust version of updates um, that'll be checked. So it'll check a, a lot more things. And so you really want that. Um, so there's three optional updates and this is where those drivers are hidden as well. And so I'm gonna go ahead and pick Bluetooth, Ethernet, and uh, this touchpad. Um, and then as new drivers come on, then that will happen. So don't forget when you're doing your Windows update to get the extra updates as well. And that's basically just like Windows 7. It's a control panel. Um, you select it and then in the future, it'll start to look there for updates. Getting back up here, um, it, you've got other things that you can do um, back into settings um, is what I like to do in this more PC setting. So you just got a lot of different things that you can do. Um, you can get you know into a desktop or whatever if you want to get down here. This is a very traditional Windows feeling. Notice no start menu. Again, to get to the start menu, you go up here to the corner. Everything is that upper right hand corner or that lower left hand corner. That's where the action happens with Windows 8 things like search, and then you get a much more complete view of what's happening with the operating system, all of your various applications, your um, Windows system, control panels, the things that you're used to uh, on a PC. Um, but this, uh, this new interface, I think, is gonna make it a lot easier for um, people that are newer to computing, and it's, it's gonna be a more intuitive interface long-term for people. I think people are gonna hate it at first, um, change is hard and, and it's different. Um, so I've been through a lot of computer and technology changes over the years from command prompt to GUI operating systems to when the Mac went to Unix based operating system. Um, every one of them has been good in the long run, but uh, every one of them was resisted uh, at first. The, what I've noticed so far using Windows 8 all of just a few hours now or using the, this new release of it is that there's a lot more apps that are supported um, in the Apple operating system. Basically, Twitter is integrated in. But what I like about what I'm seeing so far with, with, um, uh, with Windows 8 is there's all kinds of apps that'll integrate in. Everything from Yelp to Flickr to Facebook to YouTube to you name it. So lots and lots and lots of apps. Brought to you by the fine folks at Varvid video and digital media for business. Contact us at info at or online at varvid.com.